Hey guys, welcome to the weekly reading for Capricorn. Nine of Cups. Well, that's a good energy to start the reading off with. Seven of Wands. Hmm. Eight of Swords. Oops. Emperor. Oh. Four of Wands. Mm. Guys, it looks like um something that you guys have been hoping for or that you have been wishing for something that you would have that you would view as a wish fulfillment that up until this point has been blocked there's the, the road has opened here okay there's a blockage that has been removed if something was stagnant or it had reached like a it just was stagnant it wasn't progressing i see that that is no longer whatever was blocking a situation from progressing um that is no longer an issue things are moving along now possible signs I'm seeing here um, Pisces Cancer Scorpio I see Aries energy I see Pisces energy here I feel like um, something has ended something that was blocking your happiness blocking your wish fulfillment has come to an end here and it does not look like it was a pretty ending either it looks like something ended pretty badly is what I'm seeing here um, but Can you tell me more about what this is? What is this that's coming? The Hermit. The Knight of Wands. Some of you are dealing with fire signs or you're a fire sign. Aries Leo Sagittarius. Um, somebody went into Hermit mode, guys. We also have Virgo energy here. Somebody went into Hermit mode. Some of you guys could have pulled your energy back from a player. Or actually, the player may have went into hermit mode. It, it kind of looks like somebody that was unstable, somebody that was in a player energy, finally went within themselves to gain some type of enlightenment. Somebody pulled their energy back here, and now somebody feels as if they have missed an opportunity, possibly. Yeah, somebody feels like they may have missed an opportunity. Hmm. But I see something that's come to an end. Okay, so that, you know, kind of shows us what's a little bit of what's going on here. So let's dive a little bit deeper. So this is definitely somebody that you are in no contact with. I'm going to have to run and get baby boy, guys, so give me one second. All right. going on with this person mm. you guys had to um yeah the reason why you guys had to pull your energy back from this person or why it was necessary is because this person was refusing to um 
accept the feelings that they had for you. They were trying to push their feelings that they had for you away or they were in denial about them. But guys, this person that um, doesn't want to admit that they have feelings for you or wants to, you know, come to the realization that they have feelings for you, they are um, pleasuring themselves to the thoughts of to thoughts of you or pictures of you. Goodness. Um, I feel like this person feels you releasing them. So now they're going to be coming in to try to do something to just try to see if you still have feelings for them. This person may have felt like they had to pull back from you or they were not able to give to you in the way that you wanted them to because they had a, they, they had a family with somebody else or they had a big, they were very obligated to their family or their children. Something about children and family took priority over this relationship to them. All right. They're going to apologize to you for not making you a priority. Yeah, and I feel like this person's going to come in and at least try to be friends with you at the very least. It's like, I don't know, this person's not really expecting you to um, take them back. I think this person may also think that you have started another relationship or that you're moving on to someone new. Tell me about new love. Or this, I feel like this person has like just realized that they do have love for you, like you guys may have like felt like you love this person for quite some time, but I feel like this person has just come into the, like just now come to the, um, come to terms with their feelings for you. There's some type of divine, they're being divinely guided here to you or about the situation. Yeah. But they're going to leave it up to you. They know that the choice is in your hands. Okay. Um, the divine's leading this person back to you for whatever reason, whether it's for them to get rejected or it's like, maybe there's some type of lesson that still needs to be learned here, but um, the choice is going to be yours, you know. I feel like this person's coming back and they're going to be cool with whatever you offer them, whether it's friendship. You know what I mean? I mean, if you don't want anything to do with this person, obviously they have no other choice but to be okay with that. But, yeah, it's like, Spirit is saying you guys should forgive this person. You guys do not have to let this person back into your life, but forgive them for yourself. But I'm just seeing that this person maybe thought that you guys had differences that were irreconcilable or that were too great for this relationship to work. Um, but this person's upset with themselves because this person's heavily fantasizing about you. They're thinking very sexually or pa they're thinking about the passionate moments that you guys have shared together or they're fantasizing about you. Um, and they're just upset with themselves that they, you know, they that they mess things up. And now they realize that they, they love you or that they're in love with you. Yeah. I think this person knows that you're not going to trust them. So let's go ahead and see what else. So what, why is this coming to my, why is this being brought to my attention? Why does my collective need to know this? Why does my collective need to know this spirit? What's happening? What's brewing? Hmm. Let's see. Where is the deck that I want to use? Oh, it's in my face. As usual. Why does my collective need to know this? This is a collective reading. There is no specific sign that this reading is for. All right, this is too many cards, so I'm going to reshuffle these. So there's something here about a karmic. Ooh, okay, guys, here we go. <laughs> here we go. Look what's coming out here. Third party. So, their cycle with a karmic looks like it's possibly coming to an end. That's probably what that ten. Yes, guys. Didn't I just say to you that a door, like so there's a, something that was blocked is now open. It says opening doors to a better future, access to what was hidden, finding solution, access to previously closed doors. Yep, there's a karmic cycle that's coming to an end here. They had a, they were in a relationship with a karmic. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. So that's why this is coming to my attention. They want to let you know that a karmic cycle has come to an end. What is this, though? But somebody is sad, though. <laughs> why is somebody sad? Somebody's not happy about this. Somebody's not happy about a karmic situation coming to an end. They have to move. They have to relocate. Somebody, a karmic situation is coming to an end. 
and um, now somebody's having to move homes or relocate here, find a new home. But yeah, somebody has learned a valuable lesson here. The karmic lesson has finally been learned. So the, car the cycle's closing out. But it looks like it's actually going to be very beneficial for somebody that this has come to an end. I see somebody's health improving. Their well-being improving. So why is somebody sad though? Yeah, look at this. Somebody is going to have to travel. Somebody is going to be traveling. But why is somebody sad about that? So there's two indicators here. Somebody, This is somebody that maybe lives at a distance from you. They have to travel to you. Why are they? They're sad, so they want to come to work. Why is this person? What's the sadness? Somebody wasn't really wanting this, this to happen. Isolation. Well, I feel like somebody, okay, so now this is making more sense. Somebody was sad in whatever situation they were in. All right, they're very depressed. They regret getting into this situation with this karmic. Now I see that something is coming to an end. They're removing themselves from the situation that was that they regret getting into, the one that was making them depressed. They're, they're removing themselves from that situation now. And now they're going to be happy. There's happiness manifesting here. Things are going to start improving here. Yep, they're happy that this karmic cycle has come to an end. Divine timing, look at this, guys. Divine timing is at play in this situation, or has been. Yeah, this birth card tried to come out earlier. Now there's a new beginning manifesting here. Somebody wants to start fresh. Yeah, somebody was just, like, doing what they had to do. That's the type of energy that I'm getting here. They were only doing what they had to do by staying in that situation. They could have done it for financial reasons or to survive. I know, like, that sounds very... um dramatic but they were doing that to just survive or get by being in that situation with that karmic but now somebody's ready to get out of their comfort zone and take a risk here and yeah karmic justice is about to be served here somebody's finally going to be getting what they deserve they're going to be reaping some type of good karma or if you know somebody has done wrong they're going to be reaping bad karma but yeah somebody has learned the karmic lesson now things are going to be balanced out here there's balance being restored in a situation and this is a cause for celebration guys there's a happy outcome manifesting in this situation. I feel like somebody's doing something that they would normally not do. Somebody is wanting to team up with you because they see potential in a relationship with you. They see potential in you, all right, and, and being with you. This is somebody that ghosted you guys or, like, just, you know, cut off community. You haven't been speaking to this person. They rejected you at some point. There's been no closure in this situation. This person could have friend zoned you. And you had to set boundaries with this person. But now there's this sudden change in this situation. And now this person is wanting a second chance. Or there's a second chance that could be had in this situation if that's what you desire. But the choice is going to be yours. You're going to be getting clarity from this person. Everything is going to make sense. If it's just closure that you desire, I see you getting that as well. All right. Um, look at this, guys. But yeah, this person wants to date. I see you possibly dating this person. Or that's what this person's intention is. Yeah, look at this. A gift. Somebody's going to be expressing their emotions to you, their feelings to you, when I feel like in the past they didn't. And um, yeah, the I, Spirit's trying to gift you something here, whether it's closure or a relation, a new, another shot at this relationship. Some type of success or luck is on your side, and this is a gift from the divine. So, Let's see. What else do I need to know about this situation? What do we need to know? So since the third party card came out, let's see what's going on here. This is definitely third party. Their, a karmic situation has come to an end. deck I wanted to use <laughs> well this is not the deck I was trying to use guys but I feel like yeah their karmic was very ratchet okay they were ratchet okay somebody did something stupid or reckless this person was being very nasty to your person and you guys may have known this or had a feeling about this but that's, this is not the deck I was looking for. What was I trying to... Oh, I was going to do the third party reading. What in the world? All right. So, where is the deck?
All right, let's see here. What's going on in this third party situation? Yep, look at this guy, separation. Either this is them being separated from you and this was just a temporary break, or but I definitely feel like they have separated from this third party. They felt like in the past that there was like an, an insurmountable obstacle. Yeah, and this person was just like, you know, this person was sending you mixed signals. They didn't know what they wanted. You and this person could have been on and off. And it's because they were dealing with this third party. You could have met this person online for some of you guys. Or this person was very active on online dating websites. All right. They did suspicious activity online. Yeah, this person has children. This is somebody that has kids, guys. That was like a big factor. Was that they probably had kids with this person. And that was a big reason why they were still dealing with this karmic. Okay. Um, possibly it could have been a pregnancy for some of you guys. I feel like this person was trying to keep their family together or that they felt like they owed their kids a family. Yeah, there's something about travel here. Mm, hold up, guys. I feel like maybe this guy, this person would keep you waiting a lot. They would like, they would cancel on you guys at the last minute a lot. Like they just would keep you waiting a lot. Why am I getting that energy? But this per I told you this person's thinking very lustfully about you. Like this person's addicted to sleeping, like be having relations with you. They can't stop thinking about the times that you guys were, if you were intimate with this person, they can't stop thinking about those times that you guys were intimate. And I'm also seeing here that, yeah, it's like this person kept you waiting or they would cancel on you. They would say that they were working a lot. But yeah, I feel like this is somebody that lives at a distance from you. And if they don't live at a distance from you, then this person wants to. They want to travel with you. They want to take you on a little like romantic trip. But I feel like for a lot of you, this is a long distance relationship. There's some type of distance between you and this person and they have to travel to you. You guys have been like kind of maybe um, anticipating this or some of you guys like maybe feel like you're going to hear from this person. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, look at this, indestructible. Yeah, this person's feelings for you, like I don't feel like this person's ever gonna stop loving you or you're probably never gonna stop loving this person. Even if you have to move away from them and move on to something else, like you're gonna always still like care for this person or love them, like you guys have like an indestructible bond here. Yeah, look at this, this person, oh my gosh, guys, this person has realized that they're in love with you. It's like this person is obsessed with you. They can't stop thinking about you. It's very, this person's holding back from you and or they have been and it's been very hard for them to hold back from you. But yeah, there's a conversation on the horizon. Wow, guys, there's a conversation on the horizon now and this person's gonna open up to you and be vulnerable. All right, they're wanting to come to a compromise with you, but this person's afraid that it's too late. But um, yeah, I see that this person's coming in with an apology. They're wanting to make things right. They're gonna come in and try to win you over. So yeah. Guys, I'm not seeing any any I'm not seeing any energy of this third party. These are this is the third party spread and I don't see any energy of the third party. This third party is no longer a factor. This was the blockage and that third party is no longer a factor. They're gone. All right? So let's see here. What else do I want to take a look at for you guys? Um let's see what the future is looking like. future looking like okay look at this look at this wow guys so we got four yeses what's the back wow we have five yeses this person is for sure coming in like there is no doubt so this person is that's why they're sad guys this person feels lonely you know it's the holidays and this this, this is what they call it cuffing season yeah this person this is the kind of person that don't like being single all right. That's what I'm getting from them. Um, but anyways, yeah, this person's coming towards you. They hope that they can have a, a new beginning with you. They feel like they never gave this relationship a chance and they want to give it a fair chance now. This person's been trying to work up the courage to come back towards you um, and express their true feelings to you. And I feel like it's been very hard. This person doesn't open up to people. All right. But it does look like this is going to happen sometime to this. It could happen this month, guys. We have December here and we have this month. So, yeah, this could happen this month. 
and then like it looks like this person is probably going to like just kind of like maybe take things slow if they do come in and want to initiate something with you and you agree to it i feel this person's going to want to take things slow until the spring and then um something is going to um change by the end of springtime like they're going to want to they're going to either decide to take this relationship to the next level or they're going to you know whatever is going to happen something's going to change in the spring in this in the dynamic of the relationship but it's like this person wants to see if this could work first before they make a huge decision about this connection so they're going to test the waters to see if you know you still feel the same way about them um yeah but this person's feeling lonely they're wanting attention from you they're wanting communication from you they're wanting your affection i have told you guys this person's missing intimacy yeah um so i see this person coming back this month so sooner than you think um this person is finally choosing to follow their heart because they were making like more like head-based decisions in the past and i see this person is trying to make a heart-based decision and they feel like they've already wasted too much time they already kind of feel that like they may have missed an opportunity so they're going to be rushing in here all right they're tired of thinking and waiting they're going to come in pretty quickly it looks like here so Let's see here. What was it? What's this person's intentions with them returning here? All right. What's this person's intentions when they come back here? Yeah, this person, like, knew that this was a person that, mm, I don't know, guys, hold up. So this person knows that they need to make, I feel like what this person knows that they need to make a choice about is if they want to, like, actually offer you, like, a commitment. If they want to be with you long term, but they know that they, they want to, like, kind of, if they come in and you at least just let them back in, you communicate with them, like, they will be very happy that you even give them that privilege. So I feel like they're going to kind of just leave things like that for a while. That's that testing the waters energy. And then I feel like in the spring, they're going to maybe offer you something more. That's what I'm seeing here. There were some valuable lessons that you needed to learn from this situation. I feel like it was, you guys had to learn how to love yourselves in regards to the situation. Because you were dealing with somebody that was not ready for you when you guys encountered each other. And you guys had to love yourselves enough to walk away from this person until they got their crap together. All right. Um... And this person also kind of feels like they don't you're sending them mixed signals all right they don't really know how you feel that's why they're coming in to test the waters because they're not sure if you still like care about them still want to be with them still want the same things you used to but look guys i'm going to risk it all for you i think you're worth the risk yeah can you learn to trust me i'm going to be honest with you you're important to me so this person's coming in they're going to be vulnerable they're going to be honest with you they're going to take a risk they feel like it's a risk to come towards you because i feel like this has something to do with the children guys like this karmic that they have children with i feel like they that's like a big factor so it's something about like the karmic is um using the children against them or they're afraid of losing their kids if they pursue you something along those lines but they think you're worth the risk so they're still going to come towards you anyways it looks like here so um see here I'm not gonna drag this reading out too too long so let's see here anything else spirit anything else about this situation anything else anything else Ooh, what is this? you're sleeping with somebody else or that you have been getting or for some reason this person feels like you've been dealing with other people that's probably why they're sad and depressed they think that they've missed an opportunity here somebody is heavily emotional right now and it's because you guys are looking good this person's very insecure like it's like once they see it's like they're the type of person that like if they if you post a picture and you look hot in it and they know other people are going to see it. It's going to make this person feel very insecure. Okay. So it's like this person may see you looking very good right now. 
and they think they know for sure they think you're either sleep you are messing around with other people or you're getting a lot of attention from other people Mm, yeah, this person, you guys could get a lot of attention from people online. Some of you guys, um, yeah, have a lot of followers or you're like a well-respected person. You guys, maybe some of you guys are entrepreneurs, have businesses. Like something that you do is in the spotlight for some of you. And um, yeah, some of you guys are entrepreneurs, self-made. You guys are very... Um, you guys are like you're very authentic, like you are very true to yourself, very authentic, unique people. Yeah, this person is gonna wanna uh telling you guys. This person's coming back, and I feel like they're gonna wanna like take you out on a romantic date, or they're gonna just wanna meet up with you in like some type of intimate setting. Because I'm telling you, this person makes misses like the intimacy between the two of you. If it's if you have not been with this person intimately, then they just miss like your energy. And they want to be like, and they want to be alone with you. That's what I'm getting here. But um, I don't think you guys are going to let this person too close to you too easily. All right. But they're definitely coming back. Because I feel like you guys think that they're BSing. You don't, you don't know if you can trust this person or if they're telling the truth. But yeah, somebody's watching you. I feel like you guys are going to be observing this person. You're, it's like you're going to be feeling this person out, observing them. But yeah, this person thinks that you guys can be together, have a good relationship. I feel like you guys are very confident. You guys aren't going to let this person walk on you. Some of you guys are just doing very well for yourselves. Very um, abundant. And they see that. Yeah. I just feel like this person... What does this have to do with anything? All right. Hmm. <laughs> this person is a uh, what I'm getting from this person is that this person no it's like they're going to be very they're very excited to see you and speak to you all right but this person's going to be kind of playing it off like more um like they're not like they like this person's super excited to see you but they're going to be playing it off like they they're not if that makes sense that they're going to be trying to just be very like laid back about it like Like, they're kind of still in their ego, is what I'm seeing here. So, this person doesn't want to show you too much that they're excited to see you or spend time with you. Yeah, they don't want to be too obvious. Yes, that's what I'm getting here. This person is so excited to see you and spend time with you and talk to you. But they're going to be, they don't want to be obvious about it. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Because this person knows that they ghosted you. They know they left you confused and wondering what the hell, I mean, what the heck was going on. And, yeah, they know that they just disappeared out of your life. They know they dis they disregarded your feelings. Yeah, now they're coming in. They want to love bomb you. But this person doesn't want to come in being too obvious that they're super excited to have the opportunity to see you again, to talk to you again. But they are, guys. But they don't, they're going to play it off like they're not. All right? So, let's see. I'm going to get a few more cards and then I'll wrap it up. Tell me more. Look at this. Yeah, this person um, was refusing to. Mm, this person's still kind of coming back, guys, with an ego. Like, they don't. They're going to kind of still be kind of acting like they didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, look, they're on. This person still is a little bit delusional. All right, keep that in mind, guys. This person's still a little bit delusional. They kind of don't feel like they did anything wrong. They couldn't, they were unable to see that this third party, I feel like, I feel like 
this I hate you and it's jealousy is this third party. This person lied about something to you. Now they want to make it up to you and gift you something. Yeah, this person was trying to play the victim. Yeah, they try to play victim. Like they just didn't understand. They didn't know that they were hurting you. They didn't know that they did something wrong to you. Like I'm just, I'm a little bit stupid. Like I didn't know that I was doing something wrong. But like, yeah. Yeah, you, you guys, guys, this karmic, guys, I'm telling you, there's somebody, and I feel like it's their guys. So, let me tell you something. Are, do we have any Capricorns or Leos in here who watched my, my readings for Capricorn and Leo yesterday? Anybody in here that's a Capricorn and a Leo? If you are, if you remember... In those readings, I believe for both Capricorn and Leo, this hacker or cybersecurity card came out. All right. Well, guys, I'm a Capricorn. All right. So tell me why I woke up this morning and I had a, a notification from a social media site that I use saying that somebody had tried to hack into my account. So, guys, be aware that. That manifested in my life and I'm a Capricorn. So you guys need to be careful. You guys may want to change your passwords on your social media, your Instagram, your Facebook. All right. So that I woke up this morning and somebody did try to hack into my account. Um, but yeah, you guys have somebody that's got it out for you. And I swear, guys, it's their karmic. It's their karmic that's plotting against you, plotting against this connection, plotting against this person. Because they're jealous that this person has feelings for you or they're coming towards you. Or once they find out about you, um, yeah, they're going to be trying to, and it could be them that's trying to hack into your, your, your crap. So just letting you guys know that. Um, but yeah, this other person wanted that, this other person didn't love your person. Okay. This other person wanted to be with your person because it looked good or they wanted to be with this third party because it looked good for them to be one intact family. I feel like this third party wanted them for money or they were trying to benefit, benefit, they were trying to benefit off of each other is what I'm getting here. All right. But, um, yeah, this person, look, guys, oh, my gosh. So, yeah, this person wanted to explore other options. Their other option was this karmic. And they were trying to make the kids a priority. They were trying to put the kids first. So, they thought they should make things work with this karmic. But it was only to keep up an image. Yeah, it was only for money. It was only to keep up an uh, image to benefit off of that situation somehow. Look at this, guys. And this karmic is blackmailing them. This came out in the other collective reading I did the other day. This karmic is blackmailing them or they have something on your person and they're, they've are they been threatening your person. And I feel like it has something to do with legal. That like they have something that can maybe get your person in legal trouble or it, they, they're they going to have to go to court over it. It could be something to do with like custody, child support, something along those lines. Yeah. So, and with this childhood trauma, it's like if they don't get this crap together, they're they're negatively affecting the children by all this bs that they keep putting the kids through all right so this is what i have for you guys i hope that this um reading helped you um uh thank you guys so much for tuning in. uh thank you guys so much for tuning in. uh thank you guys